Queen Aja got people wondering if her and Clarence are having trouble in their relationship. It can never be different all because I had you, baby. Couldn't I get you all up? There's nothing I could do to save us. Someone commented on the new Queen's video, they said, when Queen going through something, I know that studio hate to see her coming. Queen Aja did like the comment, which got people speculating. Y'all leave your comments down below. Do y'all believe that Queen and Clarence is allowing the internet to bring problems into their relationship? Me personally, I just think people like sad and breakup songs when it come to Queen. It's like Mary J. Blige all over again. We love the happy songs, but it's something about them breakup songs that just hit different. And Queen knows that and she's just giving her supporters what they want. She's just taking a situation that probably ain't bad, but being that she got good writers they're twisting the story to make it seem like it is bad that's just my opinion y'all leave your comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that people have been speculating if jessica is now messing with king sid now the shape for mom popped up on jessica and king sid was at her house y'all know jessica was talking to mel mel once upon a time but here's mel mel's reaction when asked about jessica but you said all the girls are taking for me for you he said all the girls are taking i thought you handled this situation <laughs> so who <laughs> hey, hold up, I gotta bring this up, man. I thought you had a little situation. <laughs> nah, nah, what happened with Jessica, bro? Nah, she ended up with King Sid, bro. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, bro? We're right. Woo! King Sid, I'm trying to tell this nigga, like. Brooklyn Queen boyfriend asked her about Jay Single during a QA. Did you and Single ever mess around? Mess around? Why? Right, did y'all, like. Y'all, like, ever. Like. Have y'all ever like was talking at a certain point? No, it was just my friend. friend. Cinco was just my friend. And I feel like that's what y'all don't understand. Like, we came into each other's lives at like the right time. I was going through what I was going through, he was going through what he was going through, and then he just like motivated me to do YouTube again. And so we was just around each other and I feel like it was like a support system for both of us, just having like a close friend or whatever. Alabama Barca spoke on unfollowing Brooklyn Frost. I told y'all in the previous video that Brooklyn Frost walked past her ex-boyfriends. <laughs> Alabama took that encounter between her ex-boyfriend and Brooklyn Frost and ran with it, thinking that Brooklyn Frost wanted her boyfriend, so she unfollowed Brooklyn Frost and started throwing shots at her. But then people were saying that Alabama was crazy because Brooklyn Frost didn't even stop to talk to him. She just said thank you and kept it moving. So Alabama recently said this. My knees are actually um, strong again. <laughs> If you have time, definitely go check out my previous video so you can understand this part of the video better. But Maddie was beyond pissed at Corey yesterday, so she went live and started spilling a lot of tea. He don't have a home, bro. He doesn't. He keeps talking about the same property that he's had for God knows how long trying to get in together. He's been selling me this story. Oh, he used to have money. He definitely had money. He lost all of his money so i'm sorry that i had to send your ass home like i was not going for that that don't even make sense like well, i'm on the phone with her and we're trying to find him and then I, I posted that screenshot on my story already because I, I have screenshot and i recorded my conversation with her to, to whom she was telling me to not keep this baby or, or or like insinuating for me not to keep this baby because she when she spoke to his ex his ex said that her pregnancies were horrible and all this stuff and he's she's like he barely has time for his kids now that's also what his assistant said best friend because they're best friends he keeps saying assistant but no y'all they're best of friends by the way aiden and and kiera that's his other baby mom's name kiera you texted him asking him for money to so you know i'm not lying you asked him to send you money towards some shoes or sneakers or something one of your last text messages was literally er either early this month or end of july you asked him for something he didn't respond to you he saw your text message he's just mad that you didn't tell aiden to come with us to panama city beach so I'm sorry he's not providing for y'all son. And aren't y'all aren't I cool with his mom? Nah, I don't fuck with her no more. Respect, oh. respectfully. No disrespect. Oh. I don't fuck with her no more. Cause she did some weird shit. Is she lying for him? Yes, that's why I don't. Cause it's like I watched them just lie about the Carmen song. Y'all heard that song thoroughly, both of y'all. Huh? Should I play the song for you? His mom was the one who called to tell us that the song was dropped. Oh. I don't like that. So that's how I know. If you lying like that, then that's how I know you lying about everything else. Like you get what I'm saying? Cause I was there. Me. 
I was there. That's I'm not I'm not rocking with that because your son is evil as shit and you letting it slide. It's not cool. Like now I'm just I'm cool. I don't want no parts. I'm not don't don't text my phone no more. I ain't texting y'all phone no more. None of that. I was texting her phone trying to help, trying to trying to help him. Trying to help, nope. Try to tell the world that I was sleeping with two other guys and the baby and the baby could be belonging to two other guys. Which let me clarify. I wish. I freaking wish. And then not to mention all the back burner. You lie to me about the situation that you're currently in. All that you got going on. You put me through so much mental, emotional, and physical distress that I can't even fucking think. Corey's quote unquote mom that he's staying with that he claimed that this is just his mom but he's also trying to smash her as well. That Maddie's upset that he's with right now. She spoke out. Here's what she had to say. We don't, we don't, we don't have friends. We, we real friends in real life. Y'all trying to put us together. Like. Now y'all keep doing it now, man. I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up piping down on her. Now. I'm gonna ask her, like, hey, you'll be my girlfriend one day. Come on, now. I'm gonna try. You gonna turn me down, ain't you? I do it. You gonna turn me down, y'all. Mm hmm. It's over with. I'm grateful. I'm a friend. I'm in a friend zone. <laughs> I'm really gonna turn you down. Don't turn me down, man. Yes, I am. Damn. I am. It is what it is. Here. Corey did react to Carmen's song yesterday. According to him, this was the first time he quote unquote heard the song. I guess he got in a lot like that. It's his mind blowing to me, bro. Dead ass. Like, bro, that shit is that diabolical. That, that, that. I want to sit down on her face and do a video now. I, I swear to God. You know what? At first, at first, I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, man, you know what? I want to sit down on her face. I want to sit down. Let's do a video. Let's sit down. Let's do a video. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Y'all tell you, hey, look, let's do a video. Let's sit down. I want to sit down. We'll sit down face to face. I want to be holding to this song. I want to look at her face and say, so. So. <laughs> Dead ass, I swear to God. So. Let's talk about this right here. I did this to your song. Let's really talk about this. So. It's so many things like, we can go over that. It just. I get it, though. I ain't going to hold y'all. I get it. I get it, bro. Now I get it. Like, women women got to do what they can to make a nigga look bad, dead ass. Like, you got to, you got to go that. <laughs> How the fuck I made this look like a goddamn angel? Don't prepare me no diddy. You know what? Now, y'all fucked up. All y'all are fucked up. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Now, now, now I'm going to on y'all ass. Now I'm going to joke on y'all now. I'm going to clown y'all. I'm going to clown all y'all ass. Ooh, y'all gotta eat this shit for real, for real. I'm finna clown the fuck out. Y'all are some fucked up human beings, you know that? Y'all are some fucked up human beings. I stand on that, I swear to God, on Jesus Christ. I swear to God, y'all are some fucked up human The fact that y'all even really, really believe that is crazy to me. And the fact that she got in a lie like that is just mind blowing to me, bro. Dead ass. Like, bro, that shit is. When it comes to this situation, the fact that Corey is calling this woman mom, but trying to smash her at the same time is crazy. Then you got Maddie who's pregnant that's constantly telling us three months worth of tea, which I think we're coming to a stop now. We got everything. Sis, sit down, have this baby, figure out what you gonna do next because talking about Corey every day ain't it. We known the man for seven years. We pretty much got the gist of everything you're saying. You're just a broken record at this point because you're repeating everything that Carmen said. Sit down, have that baby, make your content around your baby, and that's it. Period. What are we talking about? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. And until next time, peace.